Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome back to another one. I hope you're all doing well. With ice fishing season right around the corner and people heading to the stores to purchase their favorite lures and to search for new baits, I figured I would bring you guys a quick video on my favorite lures for whitefish. There aren't many funky names for whitefish, but there are a few species in North America. They are the lake whitefish, the round whitefish, the Atlantic whitefish, and the mountain whitefish. You could also add Cisco, lake herring or tulipy to the list because they are a similar species to the whitefish they're caught using the same lures and they look pretty much identical except for one key distinguishing feature of the fish the difference between a cisco and a whitefish is that a cisco will have its lower jaw protruding outward further than the upper jaw or lip this causes the cisco's mouth to open upward whereas a whitefish opens downward with the upper lip overhanging the bottom. A whitefish has a mouth that's similar to that of a sucker or a carp. Obviously, it is not identical. It is like halfway between that of a sucker and basically any other fish. They also have a very small mouth. They use this small mouth with a sucker-like feature to drag their nose along the bottom of the lake to forage for larvae, bugs, and dead minnows. The whitefish is a very fun, tasty, and amazing fish to catch and they're commonly found in lakes that possess lake trout and bourbon. But they can also be found in semi-deep walleye lakes that have a very muddy bottom with a lot of larva and minnow forage. Whitefish are commonly found on the bottom of the lake feeding in the mud for minnows, bugs, larva, and other insects. But depending on their mood, they can also be extremely aggressive. Many whitefish will actually chase a lot of bait fish throughout the water column targeting these bait fish rather than targeting larvae, bugs, and insects. When it comes to whitefish, they seem to have some sort of multi-personality where one day they can be super timid and shy and they will feed only on bugs and the next day they can be extremely aggressive and will feed only on bait fish. Whitefish can be found in big schools but can also be found solo. I've personally found that the larger schools have a concentration of fish that tend to chase bait fish. Maybe they use each other and coordinate push bait fish into locations where they can trap them and feed on them. And I've noticed that when the whitefish are, you know, solo, they have a tendency to feed on bugs, insects, larvae, and other things like that. An interesting fact that not many people know is that whitefish are actually part of the salmon family. Whitefish like lake trout can be found in basically any range of water. Obviously 30 to 50 feet for whitefish is a very key location. That is where you'll get most of your fish. But later on in the winter time, they'll actually push up more shallow, targeting those bait fish. But you can also catch them up towards 100 feet of water. They can be pretty much anywhere, just like lake trout. A big thing is that whitefish have extremely soft mouths. I'm sure people have heard this a lot before. So basically, what you're gonna wanna have to do is have a good drag system on your reel and make sure to keep it a little bit looser than you would with basically any other fish. And when it comes to your rod, you want a nice soft tip rod that bends a lot, keeping the fish pinned, but not too stiff to where it'll rip it out of the mouth. So you wanna find a good balance. Personally, I find a medium light or a medium rod with basically just any reel that is your own personal preference. And just as long as you keep that drag looser and that rod is nice, it's got some good action, They'll bend properly, keep that fish pinned. That is what you want to use when you're targeting whitefish. While I know some people can go out and they will slay whitefish all day long, a lot of people actually struggle to catch these fish and I am included into that matter. So that's why in this video, I'm gonna be covering my favorite lures for whitefish that I have found success on. And remember folks, just like any other fish, really matching the hatch is gonna really help you be successful when you're targeting whitefish, depending on your waterway. Uh, you'll have different species of bait fish and different larvas. So try and match the colors, try and match, you know, different colors and patterns that the fish might follow more strongly because it resembles something that, you know, they're more used to. So number one on my list is the Seabill Vibrato. The Vibrato is an amazing lure that can be used for many, many different species. But I personally find it to be especially good for lake trout and whitefish. The waves of vibration, the extreme shine, and the fluttering action of this spoon is next to none. It is a blade bait style that creates lots of vibration when ripping it and flutters down. And it's got that beautiful shine pattern on it. It's a great lure when you're attracting fish in 
not only catching them. So I like to use this lure if I'm out, you know, having a slow day and I wanted to try and attract some fish in, I will 100% put this lure down and in, you know, 10 minutes, I'll have a lot of fish onto the screen, on the sonar, whatever you want to say or whatever you're using. So I've always found this lure to be really, really exceptional fishing for whitefish and lake trout. It can bring in a lot of fish for you, but it can also be really good when you're targeting aggressive whitefish because they will hit this lure no problem. They do not care about size most of the time. If they're aggressive, they will hit whatever they see. So this is a great option if you're targeting aggressive fish, but also if you want to attract some slower mood fish. Number two, we have the Meigs jig. The Meigs jig is a great option for targeting whitefish on the bottom of the lake. A lot of the time, whitefish will be suspended near the bottom of the lake, and this is a perfect lure to target those fish. It has a great horizontal representation with a lot of the weight being distributed to the head of the bait. So that means when you drop it down, it'll go down head first, and when it lands in the mud, it can sit like that with the hook, just like that, sticking up. Now, because I said before, whitefish have extremely small mouths as well. They're not extremely, extremely small, but they are smaller than most fish that you will target in that area. And when that lure is sticking up like that, basically the only place that fish can bite is on that hook. So you're basically guaranteeing a hookup when you get that bite. And it makes it really good to use, especially if you add a little bit of a dead bait onto the back of that and just jig it on the spot, pounding some mud. Whitefish really like it being pounded in the mud, so that'll really get you some fish. But while you can use this on the bottom, it's also a great water column bait where you can pretty much bring it up to any level you see a fish on, on the sonar, and just jig it on the spot and it'll have a good kicking motion, and it'll catch you some more fish, but I prefer to strictly use this on the bottom. It's a very, very good lure to use, pounding in the mud. Number three is the Cast Master, Cast Champ, Mr. Champ. I still don't know what it's actually called because they all look the same. The Cast Champ is a great lure that really simulates a small minnow. You can use it when the fish are in an aggressive mood, but also in a slow mood because of how small this one is. If you're using a bigger one, probably won't be the best for those slow mood fish. But if you use this down like at the bottom of the lake on some slower mood fish, just pound it on the spot very gently. The fish will 100% hit this bait, but you can also bring it up and let those suspended aggressive fish chase it. And you'll definitely catch a lot of fish on this, even if you don't have it tipped, but obviously tipping it with a little bit of like maybe worm or a little bit of larva or maggots or something will definitely catch you a lot more fish. This is a great bait to use anywhere in the water column from the bottom all the way up to the top. I highly recommend having these in your tackle box and I'm sure it'll catch you some fish in the future. And if you do decide to purchase this lure, I would highly recommend getting the silver prism tape on it. It has an amazing shine to it. It'll really bring in some fish from afar, get you lots of attention. Number four on the list, we have just a little tube jig. Now, once again, for the third video in a row, I have added the tube jig. And once again, the tube jig is not a lure that I use religiously because I know a lot of people like to use tube jigs for basically everything they fish for. I use this very sporadically. It's not a very key lure for me. I like to use other things, but this is always gonna be a great option when you're targeting those species, such as lake trout, whitefish, and bourbon. Obviously, like the cast champ, the size is really key because if you're using a big tube jig, odds are you're not gonna get a lot of whitefish on it because it might be too big. If they're in a slow mood, they're not gonna hit it. So a nice small tube jig like this really replicates, you know, a bait fish, or it can replicate a bug or a larva swimming on the bottom. So if you pound this in the mud, I'm 100% sure you'll get a whitefish on it, but you can also get it, uh, but you can also get whitefish up higher using it and tricking them into thinking it's a bait fish. So depending on the method that you plan to use, if you're gonna use it for, you know, suspended fishing, you wanna use something white or silver to attract them because it'll look more like a bait fish that way. But if you're planning on using it on the bottom, a black or a brown replicating a larva is probably the way to go. But the preference is really up to you at the end of the day. But I would also, but I would highly recommend having a tube jig in your tackle box at all times. Multiple sizes is really good because then you can use it basically wherever you go for whatever you want to use it for. So I highly recommend having this. And I'm sure in the future you'll get a fish on this lure 100%. And number five, we have just a mini hair jig or you could try and get like a weighted uh, weighted fly. 
something that would really replicate a larva or a bug or a fly or something that might wander down there onto the bottom of the lake. You'll 100% catch a whitefish like on that. these baits because they are the closest thing you're gonna get to having a bug replica, a larva replica, or something of that matter. I'm 99% sure if you use this lure with the vibrato, using the vibrato as an aggressive fish catcher and an attractant, and using this as a timid fish catcher, it's a little bit more subtle, it's slower action, it's not very aggressive. Using that combo in your ice hut, side by side, double fisting rods, this will catch a lot of passive fish for you. And it can really create some hot bites, especially when they're in a finicky mood. So remember folks, when you're fishing for whitefish, don't always take an aggressive approach. Use something subtle, because you never know if those fish aren't in that mood. They might want to hit something as small as possible. This is a great option for using that. All right, folks, that's all for this video. This was a list of my most favorite lures to use for whitefish. And I just like to remind you all that this was my opinion. Not everybody's going to agree with it. And if you have your own lures that you might use for whitefish, please let me know down below because I would love to try some other lures out for whitefish. Like I said at the beginning, I kind of struggle with whitefish catching myself. So if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, please shout them out down in the comments. And like in the other videos, all the lures in this video will be down in the description, except for the hair jig because I can't seem to find where I got this one exactly, but the rest of them will be down in the description. So remember guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. Please leave a comment to let me know what you thought. And please hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me and it would really support my channel. So I hope you guys have a good one and take care.